Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of A Link to the Past Randomizer. In the last one, we started searching Blind's Dungeon. In another area somewhere, we found the Magic Boomerang. As you can see by the tracker and in the dungeon here, we found the Red Tunic, the strongest one. But we're back at the start because we died. So, while we're back at the start, I'm going to search for the section of the wall that you can blow open and see if there actually was a chest here that I missed. Up once these um, first like four rooms here that you traverse between. Because I don't think we actually went up on these cat blocks in this room. So here's the wall that can be blown open to the other side. The heart would have been more appreciated there, Bob. the last recording I do for this batch, but these are going to be released like once a week, potentially. Yep, I did miss a chest here. So although the tunic was nice, that chest was definitely worth grabbing because that is the tempered sword. Which makes killing things a lot easier. But I would still prefer the lantern and the boomerang. Or even the rods, because. Oh, sorry, I just stopped myself there for a second for no reason. Stop! I need my health in this dungeon despite having the red tunic right now. So, as I was saying, in order to get to in order to get to the boss of the Skull Woods and even make it through part of because the boss to get to the boss of Skull Woods, beat the boss at Turtle Rock. And also comes as a great help when not necessary but makes it easier to get through and even beat the boss. Ice Palace, you need the Fire Rod. So, look, if I could find the bow, the Fire Rod, or the Lantern. Stop! Holy frick. Three hearts right there shot that way too damn fast. So much healthier that there's no way that this tunic can affect this thing. So like a freaking heart. Jackass. Oh, sorry. No! I suddenly forget how much these freaking rooms just love to bash me around. Just like that, so that I can't get through them easily without losing a ton of health. Two hearts more! What the heck, game? Stop! Like 
like the mirror, the bow, or the lantern. And of course, I get hit by one of those losing arms. So now we're gonna look into here. I'm gonna have an easier time. conveyors and enemies. Don't mess with me at this point. This game is shenanigans. As we're gonna lift that, but surprisingly we only need the Titans in that floor. Head into this room. Alright, that would be where Blind is. Although it would be fairly not too much difficult to beat him. I thought would it be too hard to beat blind with the level 3 sword of the red tunic? That uh, darn there's two and a half hearts down. I don't want to face blind just yet. something I thought would be interesting and have a decent bit more entertainment than I even have. It is, I'm sorry, though, I was kind of focusing on hitting him without taking much more damage. So yes, surprise. And yes, the mirror. That actually gives us a lot more access to things on Death Mountain in the Dark World and everywhere else now. Now we could even do the Swamp Palace if we wanted. Alright, so let's see, that is the fourth one. So, that was actually the normal um, crystal bear for Thieves Town. But, he dropped the magic mirror, and as you saw, that was not blind, that was Helmethor from Palace of Darkness. That is the extra thing that I randomized. All of the bosses are switched with each other, except I put it on simple, which I'm hoping means that the three bosses from the light world stay in the light world, and the three bosses from the dark- and the eight or so bosses in the dark world stay in the dark world. Except for Ganon, obviously. You know. <laughs> Okay, but we still don't have the bow, the lantern, or the power glove. So we still can't get the item for... We still can't return the blacksmith and get that item. Oh, no. We still can't return the blacksmith and get that item or solve the puzzle. Because that needs the power glove. And in order to finish going through the Palace of Darkness and the Eastern Palace, as well as collecting more items there, the lantern would be very handy. So... Alright, let me see here. That was nice in the other sense because um, through the chests in Thieves Town we actually got the magic boomerang and not the basic one. 
and then we got the red tunic and the level 3 tempered sword in the dungeon, and the magic mirror from beating it, and we already had the pearl. So with the mirror now, as I said, we could go through and beat the swamp palace, but the lantern would still be nice for beating palace of darkness and eastern palace, as I said. Not meaning to repeat myself so much, but that's how it is. And I'm just kind of checking the map here to see. Um, we need the book to get two items. And again, we need the fire rod to get into the boss area for Skull Woods. But we could check the rest of Skull Woods. And that is also needed for. Oh, sorry, that is also what is needed to get into or beat the boss in, in Turtle Rock, as well as um, help work your way through the Ice Palace. So I think that'll be what I do. Essentially, yeah, I have kind of locked myself out of there. But there is an item we can check down this way, having the mirror as well. Alright, so we go to the mirror. I'm gonna hit that to go back to the light wall. We have a cave right here that'll have an item. And it's got the other boomerang. The magic boomerang was already enough. I mean, we already got three progression items there, essentially. Getting the, um... Getting the level three tempered sword and the red tunic. Like I said, though, I would still like the lantern to finish two of the dungeons. I know I've been saying that a lot already. And it's only nine minutes in. There are still things, the upgraded removed being one of them, that would be nice to have. Right, so using the mirror, we can come back to the village here on the light world. And then switch over in the forest. But having both the mirror and the pearl now, like I said, there is more stuff that we can check on Death Mountain between the two worlds. Although I think I probably still need the hookshot for it. In order to do that, we need the magic power. But there is one item that we can check by the graveyard having the mirror. So let's go grab that, and then we'll check another item I could have gotten long before I the Dark World. Or we'll just check its location and what, what the item is going to be for this run. Now the 
this pathway will take us longer to get through towards the um, entrance to Skull Woods. Not to the entrance to Skull Woods, but to the portal that will let us get there. I'm just going to squeeze between those trees there to avoid that thief. there. Now I'm just going to head down this way. Avoid that guy the best we can. Jackass. I took some freaking bombs in case I could remove these from there. Sorry for the language. I will do my best to keep this um, language free. Or to actually running back out to Thieves Town because we finished that. Ugh, get away. Stop being so obnoxious with that. Right now we'll go down up here and check what we can in Skull Woods. Even that close to the hand. That is annoying. Yeah, sure, knock me off. Oh, darn ledge. Ugh, again, really? No, I'm not gonna let you kill me. Alright, nice. Come on back. Into this room where we're so rudely kept from getting the chest. Darn, you guys hit me three times now. And I lost. Let's 
hoping that would take me to a different room. Darn it! What the heck? I fall down a hole and hit the spikes. It's not what I wanted. Oh geez, we're already back up to 20 minutes. <laughs> What the heck? That thing hit me as I was falling? No, you freaking things are already hitting me enough. There to open. I wish this just lets you get to the. Do we have the big key? No, we don't. We just have the map. spots to trap that. It was kind of right in the middle of the path that we needed to go. <laughs> However, we are not completely unable to continue searching. As I mentioned, the only area we can't access is the very end where the boss is with those last two chests in it. of crap. Sorry, but a third time having to redo this. And I'm right there getting freaking hit for half a heart. I'm getting hit by both of them for a full heart. After I had this damn done. It was just a bit obnoxious. So I actually want to kind of have this move down from where it sits normally. A little bit so that you can get behind it. This is the curse. Come on, we're already 23 minutes past the mark. A fifth time, really? Okay, I'm sorry, we're gonna make this video longer too because this is not that difficult. more difficult because my hand keeps grabbing me at the freaking goddamn end of getting through this room. And it takes longer to kill the mummies without the fire rod. Good, made it through. No. Bad hand, bad skeleton. Please be worth this trouble. open the big chest, so that gives us one more thing to do.
happened down here, like before, we can get to the big key chest. Path is already open to it. It's fine. In fact, we didn't even do any damage. Red rupees. Oops. Uh, two hearts off of me, really. Alright, so I have heard having a go for the flickering back and forth with the moving of the holes. Ridiculous game. Alright, good, got you knocked into a pit immediately. Now we have to go this way. Joy. There are some birds here, but I just want to get through the room. here quickly. Well, wait a minute. I'm riding up to a half an hour. So, I am going to exit and we're going to call it again. And as much as I'd like to find my way through the rest of here or get out, I am going to stop this session after this recording here. So in the next one, guys, we'll continue trying to see if we can make it either through more of the Skull Woods Dungeon or just leave it. Until then, everybody, goodbye.